Hello YouTube, uh, welcome everyone to uh, my channel. Um, so I want to do a real quick video because I've got several comments about people asking uh, about the difference between Uniqlo, uh, just a regular fit, 100% uh, cotton and, uh, and also Uniqlo uh, stretch, uh, slim fit. So uh, in, I kind of had the same issue when I was uh, trying to find what I like, so I had to order, you know, both of them because it's for me it was hard you know until you put side by side so i decided to do it side by side the only thing i would uh, uh, right away i'm going to tell you is that this is different sizes so this is uniqlo regular feet size 35 waist and this is 34 waist since it's stretchable so i decided to go one size down here i'm glad i did because this one was a little too baggy for me um, so I did not wear any of them, so they still brand new and uh, I probably want to keep the one which is stretch one. Anyway, so let's uh, cut to the chase. Oh, by the way, so uh, before I go, I'm going to put in description the links. You can see separate reviews, in-depth reviews of uh, each of them. So please, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, take a look so it's going to be more detailed. Right now, just the main difference. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. Uh, first of all, the denim. This is non-stretch, 100% uh, denim, most likely by Kaihara, but um, there is no any stamps here. Normally, they put them inside in a lining of the pockets. Uh, by Kaihara, it doesn't say anything. It's a blank. Uh, the main supplier is Kaihara for Uniqlo, but it, you know, I wouldn't be so sure it could be any other brand, you know, textile meals. Uh, it looks pretty nice, at, as I mentioned in previous reviews, and pretty uh, nice and stiff. This is sort of a dry color. They call it Navy 69 for both of them. Uh, but this is just a raw denim. Uh, pretty nice and very dense. I think it's about 12.5 weight. They did not specify weight either, but they both close to the weight. So the denim is, as you can see, in fact, the color, this one slightly nicer color, kind of like very deep, uh, you know, indigo. Uh, this one has a stretch in it. It has 98% uh, cotton and 2% elastin, uh, and it's a little stretchable. So as you can see, the main difference also the in the details, if you look, pay attention to the details, uh, it has a rivets. Uh, this model has, you know, rivets in the front. So, you know, as you can see on the coin pocket uh, and sort of a traditional six rivets and there is no rivets on the back. You know, the back side pockets are similar. So, but the fit, this one is, you know, it's a little, it's a little too baggy for me. As I mentioned, normally I have, I like nine, uh, I'm Levi 34 regular, and uh, before I go my size, I, I mean my height is about 5.9 feet, and I'm about 178 pounds. So this one in the knee, it's about nine and a half, it's a little wider than I would like, because normally my 501s, it's about nine inches in the knee, and uh, so it's close to 8.5, yeah, at the bottom of the hem. And um, it's a little too baggy. Also, I'm gonna put at the end of this video, I will, you know, pull out the previous videos. I'm gonna combine in wine. You're gonna see how they fit. Uh, so it would be interesting comparison. Uh, again, the one which is a regular fit, they just straight, regular fit, straight cut. Uh, no rivets, very simplistic. The button has nothing, just a blank. Uh, the color of the, you know, as you can see, the the metal kind of the same dark platinum color. Um, this one, the stretch, the one has a stretch, it's a little more, has more details. As you can see, there's a Uniqlo step uh, on the button, and there's also uh, Uniqlo stamp on the rivets. It's pretty nice. A lot of people complain about the regular ones. It has nothing, no, no, you know, like a blank button. 
um, you know, there is no any rivets on the front pockets, um, which is fine. I think it's very simplistic and minimalistic. The, the YKK on the both, the zipper, it's YKK uh, on the both of them. Uh, there's no difference on the back. On the back is, as you can see, the, the even though, like I said, this is one inch down, this is 35, this is 35 regular and this is 34. It's a slightly, um, you know, slightly smaller, but still look how big the pockets on the regular one. It's a much, much larger pockets. And uh, as you can see, the one which is a slim fit, much smaller. So I wanna show you side by side, much, much smaller ones. Uh, uh, also the cut, the poly cotton thread, it's kind of a lighter here. And this one is more like a dark, dark brownish. Uh, so also I noticed that this one has a nice stitch, chain stitch, uh, double chain stitch here on this yoke part. This one I noticed in my review, I actually, uh, I told you in my review that this one has none. It's just a single poly cotton thread and a single stitch, which is kind of disappointment. So, um, also I wanna point, I would like to point to you that nice features that they can do the custom alteration. And if you request this, you know, the, if you wanna do 31, 31 and a half, or I think it's a half an inch increment, that you can do this nice chain stitch hem service, which is pretty nice. So I think it's a good feature only for five bucks, which, you know, a lot less if you go to some, uh, you know, major, you know, brands uh, would charge you $25, $35 plus shipping. This is a good feature. So that's what I did. I did the hem in service for this pair. Uh, so the regular ones, like I said, it's a little too wide for me, too baggy, even though my Levi 35 waist, it's a lot more, it's a little slimmer by half an inch at least. And Let's get to the one which is um, stretch, slim fit. The denim is nice. I do, I do like the denim and I have no issues with that. So it's actually pretty, pretty rich uh, in bigger color. Like I said, the only issue I have with this, there is no double chain stitch here, uh, which is kind of a disappointment on the yoke. I don't know why, uh, but uh, overall they nice. The only thing I'm gonna, like I said at the end of this video, it's, you know, you guys can take a look. I think it's a little baggy in the thigh. To be honest, I was kind of disappointed because I would like to have a little slimmer look. They, on the bottom, they find, they actually, I think about seven and a half, let's see, uh, about seven and a quarter at the hem. But the problem is here. I think the little wide, let me see from the center of the, center of crotch and uh, it's 12.5 in the thigh which I think it's it's a little too wide for the for the slim fit so I would say they not they more like a slim uh, to taper or I would say even more like a kind of like a regular taper to be honest because this is kind of a little too baggy when you see in the video when I put them on and you can see the big difference um, so in the knee, they actually, again, this is size 34 waist. In the knee, I think it's about eight and a half. Let's try it again. Okay, 13 inch down. In the knee, the 8.75. So the knee, that's, that's fine. So again, I have some issue with this area. It's a little fuller than I want to, but I do like uh, front rise right here. They also very nice. It's actually in uh, website indicates it's like 10 and a quarter, I think. But actually, in fact, this front rise is about one, I think 10 and a half. Yeah, it's a 10 and a half inches, which is kind of perfect front rise for me. So anyway, I think we pretty much cover it. Uh, like I said, there is no rivets on the, on the back. There's no any lining here. Uh, I did not mention the lining, I mean, it's fine. It's just mixed. It's polyester and cotton, probably 
I would say, I think it's probably 60-40, but uh, it's a little flimsy. It probably, I wouldn't put any valuable in there. <laughs> so if you put a wallet, you better watch out. I uh, Same for this one, I think it's similar. The Kaihara denim stamp on, on the ones which is slim fit, it has a stamp here, uh, fabric by Kaihara. So, and doesn't, you know, there is no any indication that, that this is Kai Hara denim, but I said this is a 100% cotton, non-stretch. Um, so, I think I pretty much covered everything. So, please watch at the end of this video, watch the uh, how they fit on me. I'm gonna put, you know, videos and uh, please, if you would like, you know, put some likes and, you know, some comments or questions if you want and um, so I will do, I'm probably gonna keep this once and I will do a bit later uh, and see how they fade but it will be probably six months from now so thank you so much for watching guys, bye! Okay again this is uh, Uniqlo regular feed Selvage denim jeans. So this is 100% cotton. This is sunflowerized. Um, so it might, you know, shrink just very little. But normally sunflowerized denim doesn't shrink too much. As you can see, they slightly, you know, baggy than you would expect for, for example, 501s Levi's. But I kind of like it. It's very comfy fit. It's a little baggy in the knee. But, but again, I have some slim fit jeans. You kind of have to mix it up sometimes and it depends, you know, what you're doing. So, and, uh, you know, I don't mind. I have probably about like a dozen uh, pair of jeans in my collection and maybe, you know, three or four of them would be like a little, little more like a loose fit. Okay. As you can see, the rise is a little higher. You know, I do, I do like actually high rise. This is this may be slightly high, but it's not bad. They might, like I said, they might shrink a little bit. I, you know, uh, it's it's again, it's up to you. Uh, some people like very low rises, but I'm not a big fan, and I kind of like a free movements. And uh, you know, this is actually pretty nice, pretty nice fit. Again, I'm gonna post maybe six months from now or maybe like a year and uh, you guys will see how they fade in so they should be kind of a nice fade because this is pretty you know pretty stiff and starchy uh, even though it's not super heavy but I think you can develop pretty nice fades so uh, I definitely will do update later thank you so much for watching again